In this lesson, we are going to learn about this uh, motion sensor which detects human with ESP32 and ESP32 extension board from SunFounders. And when there is a movement or hand or something moves, you see the reflection hits me. And when I don't move, it's okay. ESP32 starter kit from SunFounder. This is the best ESP32 learning kit from SunFounder. It has this ESP32 microcontroller which has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This board can do everything Arduino Uno can do or many other Arduinos can do, plus extra more features. Because we have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, the possibilities are endless. You can get connected to the cloud or do the control or read information or values via your mobile device or your desktop or over the cloud from a far location. It comes with a camera extension kit where you can stream the video over Wi-Fi either through the cloud or to your network and also it comes with micro SD card where, where you can save uh, images on the micro SD card or you can write from the device any information, log the information on the device and read it back. You can power the board using this included 18650 lithium battery and it has built-in charger where you can connect micro USB and charge the battery. The kit comes with 320 pieces of component that you can learn tons of projects. Come to this page, docs.sunfounder.com, scroll down until you see ESP32, then click on ESP32 Starter Kit Main. On the left side, click on Arduino User, and then scroll down until you see 5.5 Detect Human Movement. This is the documentation for today's lesson. This is a passive infrared sensor, PIR. The following components, ESP32 board, ESP32 camera extension board, breadboard, jumper wires, 220 ohm resistor, LED and PRI motion sensor. And we can use these pins for input and the following pins for the output. And here is the schematic. We are going to connect the positive pin to the 3.3 volts, negative to the ground, and the signal pin or S pin to pin 14. And also we have one LED, cathode is connected to the ground, anode is connected to 220 ohm resistor and then to pin 26. So when the human is detected, the LED will turn on. We are going to change it to a buzzer so it can buzz. And here is the module. and wiring and very simple code and there is some adjustment now here there is an explanation for this motion sensor for PRI uh, PIR sensor the module has two knobs these knobs and if I hold it like this, these two knobs, one is the delay adjustment when I detect something, how long it will take to accept the next trigger or detection, and this is for the distance to change it. And also we have a jumper setting here and here. So this is a low, which means, and then we have high, you put it, this side is high and that side is low. There is, by default, when you receive it, it should be in low. The distance is maximum up to 0 to 7 meter. To avoid continuous trigger, this, is, this can be set from 5 seconds to maximum of 300 seconds. And then these two settings, high and low, pay attention here. High, high is repeatable uh, trigger mode after sensing the human body. The module outputs high level. During the subsequent delay period, if somebody enters the sensing range, the output will be keeping the high level. 
N is non-repeatable trigger mode, the output high level when it senses the human body after the delay, the output will change from high to low. So perhaps we want this one because if there is no human, it should go back, but we should have enough delay. So the sensor works like this. The, we have two beams from the sensor and when there is human in, in this area, we get the same value, so the reflection is the same. But if the human is in one of them and if the human comes and passes po portion of it, half is reflecting and half is not, as a result there will be some fluctuation and the, we will detect human presence. If we remove this cover, that is the PIR sensor and we have some circuitry to drive it and make it easy with this chip. But this is the actual sensor. So this is a PIR sensor. There are different models. The, the one with RE to 200B. Here are some explanation. The chip that, at the back that is used, this chip, is BISS001 PIR controller. Here is the schematic of the module. When you use ESP32 with SunFounders ESP32 camera extension module like this, it comes also with a battery on the package and it comes a built-in charger so you can connect it and charge it and disconnect and later on you can use it with a lot of power so you can power up your application very easily. Now let's do the wiring. For this project we need one LED, we need 220 ohm resistor and PIR sensor, breadboard and some wires. I have placed my uh, breadboard with the red side is down. Let's get the LED. The longer pin is on this side. Just insert it somewhere here and get the resistor. The LED has been inserted. Get the resistor and bend it. One pin goes to the right pin of LED. The other side goes somewhere here. Doesn't matter where. Then get this pin from the LED and from the left pin connected to the blue. From the left pin I'm going to connect it to the blue anywhere on the blue side. Now from the right side of the resistor this goes to pin. We connect a yellow wire to the right side of the resistor and then we connect one black wire to the blue side, that's our ground. And I'm connecting a red wire to the, uh, this area on the red side. This will be our 3.3 volts. Now this red goes to the ground to 3.3 volts. The red is connected here and I use the screw so it doesn't get loose and the ground is connected to the second pin here which is ground it's secure and the yellow is connected from the resistor it's connected to pin 26 from here it's connected to 26 now let's get our uh, PIR if you hold it like this this side is ground and if you look at it from the top according to this picture the top pin is ground so I'm going to connect this this wire which is purple it will be connected to the ground all of these the blue side is ground and the metal pin is blue blue is going to pin 14. I can connect it here to pin 14. And 
the last pin is connected to VCC or 3.3 volts. In this case, in my case, if I hold it up, it's the green. I'm going to connect the green to 3.3 volts. The wiring is now completed. I'm opening Arduino IDE. Let's open our project by clicking on File, Open. On the left side, click on Downloads. Then ESP32 Starter Kit Main on the right side. Double click to open it. Double click on C. Double click on Codes. Scroll down until you see 5.5. 5.5 PIR. Double click to open it and click to select the file, click open to open it. Explanation, we are defining pin 14 for PIR pin, pin 26 for LED pin. Both of these are integer and constant so they cannot change when the code executes. And then we are holding the state of PIR in this variable called PIR and it will change continuously. Inside the setup function we have these three lines. First line is initializing the serial monitor with 115,200. Then using pen mode we set the PIR pen as an input so we are reading the value and using the pen mode LED pen as an output so we can turn the LED on or off and these three runs only once inside the loop which runs from here to here this code will run continuously first using digital read we are reading the PIR pen and the result is either 0 or 1 it will be stored in a variable called pair uh, PIR state and then we are also printing it on the screen PIR state with 100 millisecond delay so we are uh, seeing 0 or 1 on the uh, serial monitor and here we check if PIR state is equal high. If it detects something, then we say digital write LED pin high. So this will send 3.3 volts to the LED. Else, which means it's not high, it's, it is low, then we send the LED pin to low. And the LED will turn off. The ex execution of the code reaches here, and it will come back and repeat all over again all these tasks. Now let's see how we can select the ESP32 board. We can click here under the select board and type here ESP32 DEV. As soon as you type dev, you will see dev board. You can select it and click OK. So the board has been selected. Now we have to select the port. The other way to select the board is click on tools, board, ESP32 and select the ESP32 dev module. Now we have to select the port. If I click here, it shows two ports and I don't know which one belongs to my device. Sometimes you will, see, you will not see the number properly. So the best way to be sure, the right click on the start menu, go to the device manager and you will see here the ports. If I click on this arrow, it will show me the ports. One is USB serial CH340, one, the other is USB serial device. And here, now it's connected. If I disconnect this, one of them disappear. The one that disappeared is my board. So six stays and it disappeared. If I connect it, so it is my COM port, CH340. Now it is my COM port and I can select it. Or I can click on tool, port, and here you will see it. You can select whichever you want. Ours is COM8. Now we have successfully selected the board and the port. And this is very important. It must be done first. Now the board is ready. Upload the code. Click on this to upload the code. Okay, the code has been uploaded. Now let's open the serial monitor. Click and you will see zero. 
and make sure to when you when you have here 115,200 make sure this number matches in the serial monitor if you have for example 9600 you will read something right like, like this unreadable so let's select the right baud rate so we can read it I'm, re I'm removing this LED and removing the resistor and I'm gonna put this buzzer here the long pin to the right just insert it somewhere and we will connect the left pin black to the left and then this was positive it will be to the right now it will buzz if it detects something because it's zero it has not detected anything now Now it has detected when it is one, it will detect because I just moved, I, I just moved the mouse. The, US, the USB is also connected. You will see the value here when it is one. I'm gonna put it here higher, this knob. You can change the sensitivity from the left one. And if you bring it to the left, that will be less sensitive. If you bring it clockwise, it will be the most sensitive as you can see it's not stopping even but let's go back and reduce the sensitivity this is timing and if you put it here on the left it will be five seconds now in five seconds if it detects anything it will run and it will stop as soon as it detects something again it will run for five seconds this is very tricky but it will work uh, here the project is laying on the table that's a wall, some reflection also will come towards me, but I'm leaving this camera here and let's test it by walking in front of it. You see the reflection hits me and when I don't move, it's okay. If I move, And it works. Perfect.